Welcome to this week's episode of TLA. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. This is me, TLA, kayak fisherman, blogger, and adventure nut. On this episode, I travel along the Sonoma coast to beautiful Tomales and Bodega Bay. On day one, my friend Tim and I explored the clam beds of Dillon's Beach in search of large keeper clams. These clams are buried deep under mud and sand. It takes a lot of patience and work to get to them. Later that night, we traveled down to Bodega Bay and prepared to partake in the 2022 Crab Fest, a crapping tournament for kayak fishermen put on by tournament director and my friend, Victor Woolworth. This is a popular kayak fishing tournament that has deep roots in the kayak fishing community, and I look forward to spending time with old friends and making new ones. I had an exciting time, and I look forward to sharing this adventure with you on this week's episode of TLA. Over a second. Gabriel clams can only be caught at certain times of the year during an outgoing negative tide and during the daylight hours. The outgoing negative tide for this particular day was set in the afternoon and Tim arrived at Lawson's Landing and we got ready to go a few hours before the bottom of the tide. If you enjoy this content, you can really help my channel out by hitting the subscribe button and also comment and like these videos. I recommend having a pair of waders or a wetsuit. You will be getting rather dirty, so dressing appropriately can only help. I'll leave a link to the things that I use below in the description. The beach launch is fairly close to the parking lot, and if you need supplies to make it an enjoyable day, there is a tackle shop and convenience store near the beach launch. To get to the clams, you will need a shovel or a clam gun and a large PVC pipe that prevents the mud and sand from collapsing while you retrieve the clams. There's a short channel that you will need to cross in order to reach the clam beds. It's a short paddle on a kayak or a boat to the clamming ground and will roughly take about 10 to 15 minutes. there are certain parts in the channel where the water can get fairly shallow. Alright guys, so we just landed on the island and Tim's out there already searching for clams. There's lots of places you can go. You're actually just looking for these different little holes and you can kind of stick your finger in there and oftentimes You'll see them just kind of start squirting up, and that's a really good indication the clams are here. But um, this is a pretty wide area. You can only get the clams during low tide. So I'm hoping that we can actually get a few clams here and, um, and pull some up. Maybe we'll, we'll cook something over this weekend. Oh, 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 it squirted. It squirted. That one wants it. No, I'm too lazy to go for it. Get it, get it, Jimmy. Get it. Get it. Oh, dude, I get there's like billions of them that just mock at me. Come on. Jimmy got one right here. That's small. At this point, we'll take whatever it gives us. Hi guys, my arm is in this hole and I can't get it. I can feel the clam underneath me just mocking me, but I can't get it and my arm's in here. And if you look, there's a bird that's just like mocking me can over here. Ah! 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 Got a clam! All right guys, so, Bam, bam, bam. See it? Got one. <sighs> the seagulls want it too. So, <sighs> this is hard work. 
climbing is definitely hard work and it's not for those with a weak constitution or afraid of getting dirty. You're gonna get dirty, so might as well enjoy it when you're down there. <laughs> Are we done? There's a lot of hard work to get to these clans, but hey, it's good exercise. One of my favorite things to do is meet new people when I'm out and hearing their stories, especially kayak fishing stories. Ah, how many did you get? I got 10. You got 10 already? Also Tell me, you have a hobby, right? I have two. Yeah. You got two hobbies. Okay, so what, what, what have you got under your hobby so far? Oh, pretty much all the fish. All Around the fish? Here, like halibut, cod, and uh, uh, white sea bass, uh, salmon. Yeah? What's your favorite uh, fish? Salmon. Salmon. Be salmon. Your spirit fish is the salmon. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Uh-huh. What's your biggest salmon? Uh, here I I set a cruise, I caught a twenty pound uh, A twenty pound salmon? Uh, wow. Right, right outside perfect. of the hammock. How's that foraging trip? Huh? Nine. Huh? How many did you pull up? Nine. You pulled out nine? I pulled up. I pulled up like two. Because Timmy likes doing that kind of stuff. Me, not so much. <laughs> now we're walking. As you guys see. Now we're walking. Can we paddle yet? Are we deep enough? Maybe we are. It was a beautiful sunset to end the first day on the Sonoma Coast. I couldn't have asked for a better day. I was looking forward to seeing all my friends at Crapest the next day. Come visit our store in beautiful Redwood City, where we have everything you need to get started. Our helpful staff will get you situated and answer any questions you may have. If you are in the East Bay, come check out our brand new store in beautiful Brooklyn Basin. From SUPs to PFDs, our shop has everything you need and our friendly staff will get you situated and in the water in no time.